Hey everybody, this is Jim. Thanks for checking this out. Today I'm going to demo my Meshtastic 64 modules for the Commodore 64. These uh, plug into the back of the Commodore 64, allow you to talk on the Meshtastic network. Turn these on here. These are housed in a uh, cartridge shell, but they plug into the user port. So I'll plug this one in. and then turn on the computer you can see the uh, leds came on there's an amber led that's charging a battery that's in it now we're ready for some 8-bit fun and communication on the commodore 64. okay we're ready for software for the commodore 64. i wrote a program and i have it here on a floppy disk we'll load that And for this demo, I got my SX64 uh, portable Commodore 64 hooked up with a mesh tastic. And I've got a PC here, my laptop, uh, running mesh tastic. And it's running with my original prototype that's a big mess, but still works. All right, the program's loaded. Let's hit a key. And so there's some commands here. We'll talk about those later. But, uh, Generally, just like any Meshtastic program, you just type in a message to send it. Now that's sent, we'll go over and look at the other machines. All right, it's a little hard to see on this little color screen, but it does say C64, hello from the Commodore 64. And over here on the PC, you can see the same message from uh, user C-64. So we can go here and say, send a message back. Hi from the SX. And hello from the PC. Okay, back on the uh, Commodore 64, you can see the messages. SX64 sent this message. The Windows PC sent this message. Uh, the blue is the message that this computer sent. I just got back from the Vintage Computer Festival Midwest where I showed this all off for the first time. Uh, there was maybe, I think, 200 nodes at once on Meshtastic in the, uh, in the area. And uh, this was able to keep up with all those messages, display the messages, and uh, jump right in there. So it was really, really great. Obviously what I'm showing here is three computers in the same room talking to each other. Not very challenging, uh, but Meshtastic can go really, really far distances. If I have this hooked up, I could be talking on the uh, Chicago Meshtastic network right here in Chicago. I've got this LED bouncing back and forth. I didn't really do too much with the LED. I just have it looping every time it goes through the basic program, bouncing back and forth. But I'll show you something here. Let's send this message. I'll hit return. You can see it slows down as it uh, parses the message and sends it. And likewise, when you receive a message, you can see it actually slow down and parse the message and put it on the screen. Kind of a fun feedback for the uh, end user. So the text messaging works great. Uh, supports upper and lower case, different exclamation points, different uh, punctuation. But you can see these commands here. 
I, I really wanted to get some uh, Commodore 64 graphics in there. So there's some fun things you can do with Petsky graphics. Uh, you can send it between Commodore computers, but the regular PC people will just see it as garbage. So let's play with that for a second. Let's go slash P edit. And that brings up this uh, editing screen where you can draw something. Let's go change to white, go dink. Let's go down here, let's change to cyan, let's go reverse on. Okay, let's go back to white. Oops, I got to turn reverse off. So making a little simple graphic here. All right, and to save it, I go down here. I think it's 14 characters wide. It's three characters tall. Let's save it in slot four. So stored in slot four. Let's look at slot four just to make sure slash p edit four all right looks good let's get out of this 99 and then i can go so this will send slot four to the uh, other computers so let's see how this goes all right it says it sent it let's go check it out Okay, we got some flashy message on the SX. It says press F1 to PC Petsky graphics. Hey, it worked. Okay, so let's send that uh, graphic back to this computer. Press F1 to see it. All right, we got our Commodore 64 with a white border. Press any key. Okay, let's push eight. We'll store it in slot eight. And we can go slash P space edit eight, and we'll edit that graphic. All right, it pulls it up and cursor up there. Uh, some people are really good at this Petsky uh, graphics. I'm uh, just gonna type in some text here in a different color. Commodore 64 rules. Okay, so we've changed the graphic. We're gonna make it four tall now. It's four characters tall. Let's save it in the same slot. Now we can, uh, we've changed this graphics. So we can send it back to the person that sent it to us. P slash uh, space send eight. All right, let's go over the SX and see what it looks like. Here's the flashing F1. Let's push that flashing uh, graphic. There it is, Commodore 64 rules. Okay, it came through great. That's been changed. It came through, that's cool. Let's look over the PC. Oh no, it's just garbage, of course. All right, I had a lot of fun uh, writing this program. I did write it in basic. I can hit stop here and uh, actually type list and you can see it here. Um, had a lot of fun. I wrote the program on the Commodore 64 itself. I started there. I did go to CBM Program Studio and finish it as I was doing some travel right before the show. Uh, but it was a cool experience to write it on the Commodore itself. Basic worked great for interacting with the screen and using the kernel routines to talk to the serial port. Uh, really a fun retro programming experience. Okay, that's the Mesh Tastic on the Commodore 64. Uh, these modules do have a battery in them, so they can be operated just like a regular Mesh Tastic radio, maybe connected to your mobile phone or your PC. In fact, we saw that over there with my uh, prototype. So I had fun putting together this project, putting together the radios, writing the software. Uh, very uh, fun to show it off at VCF Midwest. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun putting this together. Thanks. See you next time.